Hey, hey, this video will be a video to uh, separate and distinguish between anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. Now, um, a lot of times um, people get these mixed up and this is a very high yield topic for board exams. Um, board exams will try and set you up thinking that you know exactly what's going on just from you know the conceptions that we have from uh, society and what we see in the media and whatnot, but they'll actually hit you with um, almost a trick question. Now, the big difference between these two, and we have a video on each of them independently, so if you're more interested in you know, the specifics of each one, please check out those videos. Um, but the big difference here is what the weight of the affected person is. Now, in anorexic people, they will be underweight, or typically the cutoff is below 18.5 um, BMI, body mass index. Um, Bulimics, on the other hand, will have a normal or even an increased BMI. So now let me give you the classic, I mean this is just super de duper classic board prep, uh, you know, high yield example here. They will say uh, you have a, you know, adolescent, depressed female, body image issues, under a lot of stress, comes from a rich family, in gymnastics, that sort of thing. This is the classic stereotypical setup. And then they'll say, she regularly binges and purges. She regularly vomits. In fact, they'll even give you the setup of she has poor dentition, meaning her teeth enamel is eroded. She has enlarged parotid salivary glands. She has scrapes in the back of her hands. In fact, she even came up to you and she admitted that she regularly makes herself purge after episodes of binging. And so you're like, man, this is a slam dunk. I know what the media says. Bulimia is the one where everyone throws up. And anorexia is the one where, you know, people don't eat anything and they get super skinny. And the last sentence, or, you know, the one of the last sentences of this board prep, or this board question prompt will be something like, by the way, her BMI is, you know, like 16. And they'll really try and minimize that. They'll, really, they'll get you thinking so hard on the, on the binge purge and you'll for sure think it's bulimia. And then the answer questions will be five answer choices, and one will be anorexia, one will be bulimia. You really got to look at that BMI because there is a subtype of anorexia called a binge purge subtype, which is essentially very similar to bulimia, except that BMI is low. Conversely, if you see someone with an eating disorder and their BMI is not low, it's not below like 18 or 18.5, and actually they're overweight or normal, you should rather think you know, it's bulimia rather than anorexia. So that's the big separation. That's the thing to look out for on boards. More than anything, more than symptoms, more than risk factors, that sort of thing. Uh, anorexia is underweight. Bulimia is normal or overweight. There are some other differences. So like, for example, in anorexia, the treatment is usually therapy. And we're talking with this person through their issues, trying to get them to understand their uh, you know, poor body image, that sort of thing, the, the misperception of their body image, rather the distortion of their body image. Whereas in bulimia, that's just depression typically, and so we treat with an antidepressant or you know, like an SSRI, that sort of thing. Um, therapy does help, but usually you're gonna go to medication versus no medication. That's another minor difference, but the big one is anorexia, underweight, bulimia, normal or overweight. Thank you.